going to start with Oracle Guided Learning. Um, all right, so you'll notice so you'll notice this little uh, over here on the left hand side of the screen. This little looks like a calculator with an I in it. That's the Oracle Guided Learning widget that's on. Um, and as you can see, I'll go over here and so when I select that, I get a list of the transactions that are right now uh, covered. And so uh, what, the, what I'm trying to what I want to demonstrate is how to transfer an employee. And this is actually going to show me how to how to do the demo for transferring an employee. So we've set that up as the script. And so when I when I click on transfer employee, you're going to see up here the this I get this hover uh, little floater here that tells me what what I need to do and where I need to do it. So it says enter transfer employee in the keyword search bar. I just have to go in here and I, and all of a sudden manage job comes up because I've been there before because of the recent functionality I was just talking about. So it comes up first in the search. I didn't have to put anything in. Just click on manage job. When I click on that, I'm going to go into the job component. And now you can see here, guided learning is telling me to enter Davidson and click search because I set this up directly for the demo. So this is a this gives you a sense of the experience. This is a live production system, but it's helping me helping me throughout. So I, I don't have to learn on a training system. So when I put in Davidson and then come down here and click search, um, it's going to show me the it's going to show me the the results. And then if I want to keep going, it's going to tell me what to click for this demo. I'm, however, going to stop the guided learning us here because I've noticed that in the search results, I don't have the job, I don't have the HR status, and I've got two Antonio Davidsons, but I don't know if are they both active or is it someone with two jobs, one person with two jobs, but I can't tell. I need to go and add the status, and that's something that historically has been an IT job. If I need to change my search or my search results, I go, I go have to go to IT. Um, but we one of the new capabilities for this is we now we deliver what's called a configurable search, um, and so I want to go up and configure the search to show the HR status. So I'm going to go to my menu to my recently visited. I was just there, um, and I want to go to manage, manage search configuration. It's going to pull up the component where I can go and update what this search looks like. You can see here I'm going to click on this in this edit button. And I'll come up to a page that tells me, allows me totally to configure search. Um, number of saved searches, the values of the field, of the, the values of the labels. It also um, gives me the ability to configure which fields are shown on either the, um, in the search criteria, with these two columns here, or in the search results. So I can take everything that's on these records, anything that's on these records, and decide I want to either search on them or put them in the results. Uh, and then which order. So I'm going to scroll down until I find HR status, which is right down here. And I'm going to, I want to add HR status to the search results. And I want it to be the fourth thing I'm going to see. So I put in a four in here. Um, and then I scroll around a little bit and find the save button at the bottom. <laughs> and now I've added, now I've added HR status to the search results. I can go back to that, that job data component that we were on, manage job. Um, and I have the option because we do save searches to search again on Davidson because I just looked for him, so I can just search again. And now I can come up with the actual HR status. You can see it's in the number four field. It just got added in there. That's how powerful it is to be able to configurably add, um, uh, you know, change the way this looks, uh, both the inputs and the, and the outcome. So I'm going to drill into the one that's the uh, job that he has that's active. I'm going to create a job action and. Here now what we've done, well, I, I can put in the action code and the action reason. You can either look those up um, or a lot of people have, have memorized those um, and so they know what they are. So you can, and this is again, a more of a admin function. So uh, we, we want to make it easy, but we also don't want to still make it productive. Once I've created that job action, um, now we've taken the job data component and turned it into an activity guide. So this activity guide is, um, first of all, it's highly configurable, so you can decide. You can decide, um, you know, what the status, what the steps are. We've integrated it with field and page configurator, so you see some of the fields on this page, like business unit, are grayed out. That's we did that with page and field configurator, so there's no one, no one needs to update it, so it's just stayed there. Um, you can hide fields, you can change labels, everything you can do with page and field configurator, you can modify on this. Um, so I'm going to change the location to the California location. 0012, 
San Francisco. That's all I'm trying to do is transfer them. So um, now I can go and hit next. I can be guided or I can use the activity guide. We have you know payroll here. We can, uh, I'm gonna skip this. Now what we've done here is we've added a step with a, a drop zone. And for those of you who aren't familiar, drop zones are are pages where you can put all your own customizations. It doesn't touch the maintenance at all. So if you add these fields to this drop zone, uh, then you don't have to worry about when you take maintenance or doing do kind of uh, the next version make me current. That we're not going to overwrite any of your stuff because this is your drop zones are um, where you can do customizations without impacting maintenance. So we put a drop zone in here. You don't have to use it, but if you do want to use it, you can put any fields you want to uh, capture about job data on here. Still not have this count as a custom as a customization. Um, so I've added one that's remote worker. If we want to track whether the person's going to be remote worker, that's a, an example that we've added. Um, I can say next. We go on. This is where um, we've added attachments. So we can now add attachments to, to job actions. I'm not going to attach one here, but you can you get the idea. Um, we go to next. So we get a summary here of what have changed. So I can see the fields have changed and what what, what currently is proposed uh, and what's proposed and what the current data is. Um, and then I can go to this uh, and I can submit this. So you get a sense of both Oracle Guide Learning and uh, the new uh, fluid um, transactions we have, job data on.